For all you fans of the Adventure Island series on the Nintendo, you'll be happy to know that Master Higgins is back, and this time in 16-bit Super Nintendo Island color. Now, you will recall that the indomitable Higgins has saved the citizens of Adventure Island on more than one occasion when they faced destruction at the hands of the nefarious witch doctor. Yikes. While the master's been kicking back, enjoying a few island coolers, you know, those drinks with umbrellas, not to mention he's with his honey, Genie Jungle, so he's busy. But there's trouble in paradise. For who should show up but none other than Dark Cloak? That's who. Suddenly, Genie Jungle's heart grows cold, as does the rest of her, because Dark Cloak has turned Genie into stone. Now, Higgins must seek out the Dark One and get his gal pal back to normal. Shoo! Now, while the name may be the same, you are going to notice quite a few differences between the original Adventure Island and the SNES version, which is entitled Super Adventure Island. First off, the 16-bit graphics and super sound put the old version to shame, and I mean in a big way. The island colors are gorgeous, and the horizontally scrolling arcade-style action give this island adventure a whole different look and feel from its predecessors. Now, Higgins' choice of travel is still by way of foot or skateboard, but in this adventure, the dinosaurs from Adventure Island 2 have become extinct. His weapon arsenal includes an axe and a boomerang, but this time around, he doesn't need to break any eggs to find them. They are right out in the open, ready to be taken. Now, to power up his weapons into full-fledged fire weapons, Higgins needs to grab up to four of each weapon category. The game takes place over five stages, each with four areas and a big bad boss at the end of each one of them. The newer areas have Higgins working his way through a cavern, swimming underwater after he's swallowed by a whale, shivering on a frozen mountaintop, riding a mine car inside a mine, and even climbing a tree. Now, while I'll have to say that the graphics in this 16-bit island paradise are really something to see, the gameplay action is, well, just a little bit sluggish, since Higgins doesn't move quite as crisply as his smaller self in the 8-bit games. But, if you're a fan of the original and its sequels, you're probably gonna find that Super Adventure Island is a real trip. I'm out of here.